Contract Express webinar. We would like to let you know that we will be recording today's session for those who are unable to attend and any questions you have can be posted in our Q&A box located in the top right hand side and only Thomson Reuters will be able to see these. Today's topic will be on data sheets, which is something you've all been asking about since our latest development in Contract Express 8.6. The recent development allows the admin greater control over which users can access certain data sheets, enabling you to have a cleaner setup of Contract Express, removing irrelevant data sheets from your end user's view. So what is a data sheet? Data sheets are used to create custom views of questionnaire data captured across all documents. The three common ways of using these data sheets are one, seeing the information on the document view page by applying a data sheet, two, bulk creating documents with a data sheet, or three, filtering generated documents through a data sheet. To begin with, Maxime will show you how to create a simple data sheet and from there, how you can see the information on the document view page. The purpose of this is to show you a snapshot of what is in the document without having to actually open the document itself. This can be particularly useful for approval workflows. You can show information on the document view page, which gives the approver a high level overview of the content within the document. An example could be showing the rent amount, which may need approval after a certain amount. Over to you, Maxine. Thank you, uh, Sharmila. Um, so to show you how to uh, create data sheets, I'm going to be using a, um, a template, uh, which is a list here. So uh, just showing you here very briefly um, the template and the questions. So we have here um, just a simple lease, a landlord, um, a, a tenant, B, an address, and a rent. So that's the uh, template that we are going to be using for the demo. And I've just generated one document. And so now if I want to um, create a data sheet for uh, documents that have been generated from this template, the lease, I would need to go first in admin and here in features, I would need to make sure that I have uh, the data sheets on. So here features and data sheets and then save. Once I've done that, I can just go to the documents tab and apply data although I don't have a data sheet yet. I would just create a data sheet here and I would start the name. And so here, uh, once I've added the name, I have um, three um, options. So I need to insert a condition, maybe sort uh, the, the information and add columns to the data sheet. So first the condition, would need to be here the reference. So I would specify that the documents that are uh, displayed in my um, in my view would correspond only to uh, one specific template. So I want to see documents generated only from one uh, one template. So so here as a condition, I would say that the reference has to be the reference of my uh, template. And to do so, I'm going to add here reference, which is template here, equal, and then just the reference of my uh, actual template. So here, lease. So that's the most important uh, thing to do. So once I have my condition, I can sort uh, my documents, my information or not. And then I can just add columns. So here I would press on the button, add columns, and select uh, columns from the metadata and from the template itself. So first from the metadata, I would um, select columns that are necessary for uh, my, demo to my demo today and for what I want to uh, see in, um, 
in my view. So um, here for the demo, I will need uh, the reference, which is here in template. Um, I don't need the status. I need the name to be able to click on the on the document. I don't need modified on, modified by. There is only one user. I need the contract ID, and um, and that's it. Then I would just add, and so I have three columns here. Then I can just go to my uh, my template, which is Liz. And then add um, all the columns, or the columns I actually need to uh, to show. Then add, and then here I have seven columns, and then I can just apply. Just confirming here the order. I might put the name at the end because the column name is taking more space, and um, and that's it. So now if I select my uh, data sheet, here is the view I get. Sharmila. Thank you, Maxine. Next, we will show you how to create bulk documents using data sheets. The purpose of this is to show you how easy it is to create multiple documents using data sheets within one Excel sheet. Bulk generation of documents are commonly used when creating multiple contracts, such as settlement agreements, contracts of employment, company formation documents. Over to you, Maxine. Thank you. So uh, to amass or bulk create documents using um, uh, data sheets, I would just need to basically answer all the details of my um, my documents in an Excel spreadsheet and then upload this Excel spreadsheet into the site and that would automatically generate um, generate all my uh, documents. Uh, but the, the easy the easiest way to do so is to actually download the data sheet that's already on the site here. So downloading from here from the three dots here, download data sheet. Saving and then I would just edit this data sheet. So now I have my uh, I have imported. Well, I actually have downloaded the data sheet that was on the site. I have it here in Excel, and I can just add information and then re-upload this Excel spreadsheet to the site to just generate the documents. So here I'm going to delete this uh, this line because um, I need it, and. I'm just going to add some some information here. So from uh, the left to the right, the contract ID is um, there is no contract ID, ID at the moment because contract ID is provided by the site. And so here we have a contract ID on this one uh, because that's a document that has been created uh, on the site. But uh, when I create documents from the Excel spreadsheet, um, I don't have a contract ID. So I'll, I'll leave it blank. Template reference is going to, to be the same. Uh, let's just create five documents here. Address, I would pick uh, an address from the options of uh, my template. So either London or um, Berlin. Landlord, I can just put one letter. The tenant might be B. The rent starting from um, 1000.
and uh, the name would be the name of the generated document. So here, um, just generate it. And so now I can just save uh, the Excel spreadsheet and then go back to the site and upload the document. So now if I go back here and upload, So again, here, three dots, upload data sheet, then select, upload. There we go. So I have uh, now generated five documents uh, with an address of London, Berlin, landlord A and tenant uh, B, C, D, E, F, etc and a rent from 1,000 to 5,000. So that was how to um, mass generate documents. If I actually wanted to um, edit these documents that have been mass generated, that would be um, the same process. Um, I would download again the, the data sheet. And edit the um, the spreadsheet locally. So this one is my old spreadsheet and this is the new one. So here, just extending a little bit. And as you can see here, I have a contract ID which is provided by the site. Um, and the rest of the information uh, is the same going to be um, changing the name to generate it from lease for all of them. I'll leave the, um, the tenants as it is and um, the rent as well. And let's say that uh, the address is Berlin for all of them. Then I can just save go back to the site again and uh, re-upload. And now, as you can see, the address is now Berlin for all of them and the, the name is uh, updated as well. Um, so yeah, that was the main use of uh, data sheets. There is another use of uh, data sheets that you um, can find here on the documents uh, themselves. So this is the, um, the generated documents page. Um, if you go to details, you might want to see extra information here in this uh, section. So here there is the status and uh, the access but we might want to see the rest of the information such as um, the address, uh, the rent, etc. So if I want to see this information, I would need to create a data sheet uh, specific to, um, uh, to this template. And this data sheet would be based on uh, the admin tab and not on the documents tab uh, this time. So I'm just going to create the data sheet and then I would apply the data sheet to the, the template. And by doing so, I would be able to um, display the information here. So I would just go back here to admin. And here in templates and questionnaire, I have a uh, data sheets. So I can just click on it. There is nothing here. So I would just create my data sheet. I'll call that data sheet two. and uh, just adding variables here. So from the metadata, um, again, I would just add the information that I need. So maybe uh, there is nothing uh, needed here, but I might just want to show um, modified on and a few other things. Um, the status maybe. And from the template, which is leads, all these variables and save.
Now I would need to go to the template itself. And here in datasheet, instead of known, I would uh, select uh, my datasheet. So datasheet2 and save. Now, if I go to documents and then if I select any of these um, documents, I can see that here in details I have extra information. So the status, the address, um, landlord, rent, the tenant, etc. And um, and I think that was it for the use of uh, data sheets, uh, Sharmila. Thank you, Maxime. We will now show you an example of how you can use a data sheet to filter your generated list of documents by the answer within them. The purpose of this is to allow you to filter the documents tab. If you have many documents within Contract Express, you can create different filters to search for your generated documents more easily, and you also have the ability to customize your columns. An example of this would be filtering your documents by expiry dates or documents created for a particular client or listing all your rent agreements and their rental incomes. Over to you, Maxine. Thank you. So as you can see here on my documents view, there is nothing, uh, no data sheet applied yet. Um, so I have my uh, latest generated documents here, uh, generated from Lee's, the one we've just created. And, uh, and I have some information here. So the status, the modified by, modified on, etc. cetera. Um, but that's not the information that I would like to see. So if I want to see the actual information, I, I would just apply the data sheet that I've created and and um, and here is the information. Sharmila. Thank you, Maxine. So those were the three main examples of using data sheets. It is worth noting that data sheets can also be used to do analytics. If you're interested in knowing more about analytics, let us know and we can arrange a separate session for this. Maxime will now show you what the 8.6 release enables you to do, and then we will wrap up with a couple of top tips for working with data sheets. Yep. Yeah. So um, with 8.6 now, we can uh, actually share data sheets with uh, specific users. So instead of having the data sheets uh, being shared with all users, you can specify with uh, who this is going to be shared. So by clicking on the data sheet and editing, then click on here the access, and you can specify the access uh, that you want to give to your uh, data sheet. So in that case, you would probably give the same access to um, as the one you have given for your template. So for the the lease template. So here might be, for example, group um, legal, and um, right, for example, and then just apply. Thank you. So in summary, our top tips to remember when using data sheets are ensure the document is live when applying a data sheet. Always select the name and template metadata column when creating a data sheet to allow you to easily filter. Make sure you remove the contract ID when bulk uploading if applicable. And remember to have the template name in one of the columns for bulk generation for identification purposes. Thank you for attending today's webinar.